no BS. I've never done nine plates each side for one, but I got 12. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome, you are watching Fazza Fitness. So let's start this video with Quentin Beastwood and his latest physique update which is now from the prep mode. In fact he has been in prep for quite a few weeks now. Now what show he's gonna do next when he is gonna step back on the bodybuilding stage that is still being kept a secret by Quentin. But as you guys can see from his latest update, things are falling into place now as he has been in the prep mode for quite some time now. So he is another guy who took the half of 2022 and all of 2023 off to improve his physique, get his first pro win and ultimately get to the Olympia stage. So this is gonna be his Olympia debut. So add Quinton in the list of those guys like Rafael Brandao, James Hollingshead, Antoine Martin Fritzbar who took the entire 2023 off to improve their physiques. And in case of Quinton, the thing that he wanted to focus on the most was his back and build overall more mass and density in his physique. So the last time Quentin stepped on a bodybuilding stage was at Texas Pro 2022, a show where we saw Andrew Jack for the very first time making his pro debut and he just shocked the bodybuilding world. And Quentin being a taller guy than Andrew Jack realized that for him to be impressive at a big stage like the Arnold or the Olympia, he needs more size and that is why he decided to go back to the drawing board. So ever since then he has been working with Matt Jensen and Matt Jensen we all know is a superb coach. And he was the one coaching him throughout this offseason as well, where Quentin was really pushing 320 pounds, and that is a lot of weight. So Quentin's comeback is gonna be really exciting. This guy has such a beautiful shape, one of the most aesthetic physique in the men's open bodybuilding. He has great symmetry, his flow is impeccable, and most importantly, he knows what it takes to be shredded. He knows what it takes to be conditioned inside out. Although he himself believes that he wasn't at his personal best at Texas Pro, even conditioning wise, but he was pretty damn good at that show. So what do you guys think? What show is Quentin gonna do in 2024 to get his Olympia qualification? Ian Valier made the right call of retiring from professional bodybuilding while he was still healthy, while everything was still intact. And he was very open about the risks being involved when anyone is trying to do the open bodybuilding especially at the highest level. And most importantly, Ian's best years in terms of how high could he place at the Olympia level, they were kinda behind him at the time when he decided to retire. So at his best, Ian placed runner-up at the Arnold Classic against Nick Walker. He was 7th at the Olympia and I believe that was 2021 but we saw he drop down to 11th place in 2022 and as for him that wasn't his personal best and that is definitely true. We saw the best of Ian Valier at Texas Pro 2021. That was probably his all-time best luck. And I don't think anyone can dispute that. But realistically speaking, even that physique would have struggled to place top 7 now because the level of competition has just gone way up. The physiques that we have now in those slots, they are vastly different and so great. Now looking at a bit downsized version of him, people are quick to jump to this conclusion of whether he's gonna consider classic in the future. Guys, he is downsized in comparison to his own previous self, to how he looked one year ago. The man is still in the 240s and there is just no way he can make the classic physique weird cut off. So how long can he maintain this kind of look? That is the real question because he looks so damn impressive and so athletic which is exactly what Ian was looking for post retirement. AJ Khaled reported about multiple guys who could have been in the tripro lineup like Akeem Williams, James Hollingshead and William Martins. But they are not doing this show and each of these guys have a different reason of not doing this show despite being in a stage ready conditioning. But let's talk about a guy who is gonna be here who is making his comeback after one and a half years, Martin Fitzwater. He's gonna be dialed in for this show as he was hoping to compete at the Arnold Classic Ohio and the Arnold was four weeks before Detroit Pro. But because of his application not getting accepted, he had to change his schedule. So his prep must have started earlier than usual because Arnold was in his mind so it has been a longer than usual prep. So that is why I am damn sure that he is gonna be dialed in. So in 2022 he was working with Branch Warren and they both did an incredible job at bringing a very competitive package especially the one that we saw at Texas Pro. So he wasn't a big guy but that was one and a half years ago and that is exactly why he took this whole time off to get bigger to grow to be more competitive in the men's open class.
So all around, Martin was the most conditioned guy at Texas Pro 2022. And that is why he got rewarded for it. He placed runner-up at that show, ahead of Steve Tuklo, ahead of Kamal, ahead of Quinton Beastwood. And the show that he did after Texas was the Orn Classic UK. And going into that show, their aim was to beat Andrew Jack and get their Olympia qualification. But after placing fourth at that show, he decided to shut down the season. So this is going to be a completely new build for Martin. He's going to be so pumped to showcase this package because there is a point to be made that he deserves to be on that Orn Classic stage as well. I am sure he is shooting for nothing less than a victory at Detroit Pro. And that show is going to be in less than three weeks time now. I missed all that talk that Hadi Chopin is going to win back the Olympia title this year. Or Samson Dada has a shot at Mr. Olympia title in 2024. Especially if he continues to improve the way he did for the Orange Classic UK from the Orange Classic Ohio. Or the fact that Nick Fogger is coming back and he's very vocal that he's going to win the Olympia title. So I missed all this talk. What does the reigning Mr. Olympia Derek Lesford has to say about that? Well, here is his answer. Here to stay, baby. Back to back. Come on! So if anyone is thinking that Derek is just down there chilling while all of these guys are making these amazing improvements, well, then these guys are delusional. If anything, Derek was fired up more than ever to see his biggest competition, Hadi Chupan, winning two back-to-back -back shows, bringing an even better package than the Olympia. And that is exactly what Derek also aims to do, bring an even better package at the Olympia 2024 and make it two in a row in October. Now, we do not have to remind him what he needs to do in order to retain the title. He knows that himself better than anyone. And more important than that, he has a coach like Honey Wembot in his corner, who is one of the greatest coaches of all time. So Honey Wembot did say that this version of Hadi Chupan he would have won the Olympia last year hands down. He would have beat Derek Lesford. But then again, he also said that the Derek that we're going to see this year, that isn't going to be the same Derek. He's going to be making improvements. And he also said, wait till you see this new Derek, this new and improved version of Derek at the Olympia in October. Now, Derek Lesford does have some big shots. And the reason is his chest and his delts. They do not have that same green detail as the rest of his body, especially in comparison to some of the top guys. He also faced some criticism regarding his biceps and his abs as well. So he does have some weak shorts. But on the flip side, there are some shorts where he is really untouchable. Like the front relaxed, like the front double bicep, like the back double bicep. Which is absolutely nuts. And we are only going by what we saw from him last year. And Derek still have a lot of time left to make some improvements before he starts his Olympia prep. So do let me know what you guys think. Will Derek be successful in defending his title at the Olympia in October this year? Also, hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.